Thank you so much for being here. I'm Lori McDonald. I'm the Vice President for Student Affairs, and I have with me today Brittany Badger, who is the director of our Center for Student Wellness. Thanks for being here, Brittany, and taking a few minutes out of your time, to, out of your day, um, to talk with me a little bit. I am wondering if you could just let us know a little bit about the Center for Student Wellness and uh, where to find you these days, especially. Uh, no, that's, and thanks for the invitation. Happy to be a part of this. Um, so yeah, my entire team, all the Center for Student Wellness, we are working remotely right now. Uh, you can still easily contact us via email at wellness.sa.utah.edu, or we're really active on social media. Um, so following us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter uh, at U of U Wellness. And so you can send us a direct message there, contact us through that forum. Um, but yeah, so all of us are working remotely. Um, the majority of our services we are still able to provide in a virtual setting. So our, um, just a little bit about our office for those who are not fully aware of what we do. So Center for Student Wellness, we are here to provide a lot of education, outreach, and direct services for the campus community, uh, primarily students, but we do have a, a few services that are available for faculty and staff. So in particular, we have a victim survivor advocacy program, uh, which is a team of trauma-informed, confidential uh, victim survivor advocates who can work with any campus community member, so that's students, faculty, or staff who have experienced some sort of interpersonal violence. And interpersonal violence is just a blanket term or an umbrella term that includes things like rape, sexual assault, harassment, stalking, dating violence, and domestic violence. And so for any of our campus community members who've experienced one of those things, they can contact our advocates and set up a virtual meeting right now via Zoom. Uh, so we have a HIPAA compliant uh, Zoom setup, so your meetings are confidential. And our advocates can really just help walk through all the different resources and supports that are available to you. So whether that's, you know, wanting to explore what a, you know, a law enforcement investigation would look like, or if you wanted to report something to the police department, or going through the Title IX process, or if you're just needing extra support with your academics or mental health, um, anything like that, safety planning, emergency housing, which we know a lot of these things are uh, elevated quite a bit right now, uh, our advocates can really help to provide that support. So that's kind of uh, one of the, the main functions in our office. And then we also have a, a health education team who provide just a number of different wellness uh, trainings and workshops for the campus community. And we have gotten to the point where we can offer most of those in a virtual setting. <laughs> so we've been having a lot of students who have been participating in healthy relationships workshops. Uh, we're you know, doing a lot with sexual health, uh, bystander intervention. Uh, we do have a series on harm reduction called Safer Party Culture. And so a lot of these different workshops are available uh, via Zoom or we have recorded versions for our faculty to be able to share with their classes as well. So, um, so those are kind of like the main functions. We do also offer, uh, at least in a normal setting, you know, mobile STI testing and HIV testing. Those are currently on hold um, for the time being, but we're hoping to have those reintroduced in the fall. And we also have a whole team of peer educators called the ACES team. And they have been amazing with sharing just a lot of different opportunities to just get connected with their peers right now. They hosted a virtual dance party on Zoom on Friday just to bring a lot of their peers together just to hang out because we know it's been a really tough time for students. And so our peer team, they're available right now through the end of the semester and then they'll be going on a little bit of a break. And then we also have a, a wellness coaching service that is also available over Zoom. So for individuals that just need someone to talk to you about goal setting or just needing a space to, you know, share kind of frustrations or stressors and how to navigate some of those pieces, our wellness coach is available right now for through the end of the semester providing that support for students. Yeah. So yeah, your students, your <laughs> students are so creative. I, I love it. They are so amazing. So that's yeah. Thank you so much for all of that, Brittany. Um, I really appreciate it. And again, um, you and your staff are, are so, um, there's, you're so important to providing these really critical resources for students. And I thank you for being so um, innovative in the way you can do it now. So thank you very, very much.
Yeah, well, thank you. Thanks for giving me an opportunity to share what we've been doing. We've been busy, so and yes. <laughs> it's a really amazing team, and I cannot imagine working with other colleagues uh, within student affairs. I'm, I'm really grateful that we're all here to support each other. So. Thank you. Take yeah. care. Lori, we'll see you later.